Okay. Good afternoon, uh, everybody. My name is Srivatsa, and I will be demonstrating how e invoices can be generated through GST Zen. As we have mentioned earlier, GST Zen is a cloud platform, so you can create your account and log in at my.gstzen.in. And after you log into the account, this is the very first page that you will see. This is your GST Zen dashboard where we will display all the GST numbers that you have added to your account. So today I will be doing the demo for this GST number that you can see here. Primarily, we have three offerings when it comes to um, e-invoicing. The first is a GST Zen's Excel-based integration, uh, which is what I'll be showing a demo of firstly. The second is our API integration, and we also have uh, integration. You can uh, directly create uh, an invoice in uh, our billing software. We also support tally integration and database integration. So in order to get started with the Excel-based uh, integration, uh, you have to click the e-invoicing button here. When I click this button, you can see a variety of options. Uh, mainly one is GST and Excel, which is what I'll be showing a demo of. It is our template. It is a fixed template with a fixed set of columns and uh, you can provide the value for the corresponding uh, columns and upload the file back to GST Zen. So let me just show you what the uh, template itself looks like. You can download the template and uh, as we open the template, we will notice that there are three sheets. First is the about sheet then we have the sales invoices sheet and the master data sheet. The about sheet and the master data sheet is purely uh, for reference. Uh, if at all you have any uh, doubts about a particular field for which you are entering a, a value, you can always refer to the to the sheet uh, to know if it is a sub mandatory or optional. If what are the example values and so on. Same with uh, master data sheet. This is also for reference. You can always refer to the sheet. So the the main sheet where the invoice entry will be happening is the sales invoices sheet. And as you can see here, there are. Uh, certain columns that are in bold and uh, columns that are not in bold. Uh, the, the bold columns are mandatory and uh, without uh, these columns, an e-invoice cannot be generated. And you will see that they are color coded. So all, all the columns belonging to the same color belong to the uh, same section of the e-invoice schema. So all these belong to the doc document details. Then we, uh, followed by that, we have the supplier details. Then, please give me a minute. Then we have the recipient details, moving on to ship to dispatch, and then finally comes the item details. So broadly, these are the five sections. Uh, and then towards the end, we also have certain additional columns. Uh, for example, we have uh, foreign currency code and total in foreign currency to support export invoices. We also have customer purchase order number and purchase order date. So in our template, you have to fill in the data here and upload the file back to GST Zen. So I will show you a template that has already been filled. I have some sample data here. As you can see, I have five invoices here, one invoice with two line items. I've entered the supplier details. I've entered the recipient details. Ship to and dispatch are optional. Uh, if you are providing any one of these uh, fields, then you will have to provide all the fields that are marked in bold. If not, you can leave the entire uh, section as blank. Then coming to the HSN code itself, uh, I've entered the HSN code, product description, UQC, uh, unit price and quantity I've entered, even though it is not uh, mandatory, you can absolutely enter it. And then finally, we have the taxable value, the tax rate and the tax amounts. So once I have entered these, I can save the file. I can come back to GST Zen and I can either drag and drop the file or I can just select the file. So when I upload, we will firstly show you a summary tab here, followed by an errors tab. If at all there are errors in the data that you have uploaded, we will show the errors here. And then we will show uh, a more de detailed description of the, um, of, of the invoices. And as you can see there, uh, I have five documents here uh, with a taxable amount of 3050 and an IGST amount of uh, 549. And I have an error here which says, for uh, uh, webinar bulk 105, the e invoice has already been cancelled. So if, if at all you're uploading an invoice which has already been cancelled, this is how we will show the uh, error. Now coming to the invoices tab, I have uh, these invoices that I can upload. They are ready to upload. Let me show you the PDF 
before uploading uh, it to the government portal. As you can see, there is no IRN and QR code in this PDF, which means to say this is a regular tax invoice. It is not an e-invoice yet. And also, as you can see from the legend table here, um, there is uh, a yellow circle next to the customer GST number, meaning uh, the e-invoice has not yet been created. So in order to uh, create the e-invoice, you have to upload it to the government portal, which you can do so by clicking this button. And if you say, yes, upload e-invoices, firstly, the e-invoices will get generated. You will get the message towards the top left, of, top left of your screen. And you will also see that the yellow changes to green uh, in a short period of time. Now, if I open the PDF, you will see that there is an IRN number and a QR code. So now it has become an e-invoice and you can verify this by scanning the QR code from the government portal app. So coming back, they've all turned to green, which means we have successfully generated the uh, e-invoice. You can uh, view the invoice level details by clicking on the invoice number itself. You can see that um, we display the IRN. We also mention who has issued the e invoice, whether it is the government sandbox portal or whether it is the production portal. So here you can see it says unofficial, which means it is the testing sandbox portal. An e will can be directly generated from here by entering the vehicle number and other details necessary for uh, an e will to be generated. And moreover, you can also cancel the e invoice directly from here by clicking cancel. Please make sure that this is done within 24 hours. If not, you will have to remove the entry from your GSTR one. So this is how you can bulk generate uh, e invoices from uh, GST Zen. Now I will verify that this has actually been generated. Let me open uh, an invoice which is still generated. So bulk 104. So I can just download the acknowledgement JSON, go to the government portal and verify that this has actually been generated. I'll be uploading the acknowledgement file and on submitting, it will tell us that this is a digitally signed invoice. And uh, you can see that this is, this is actually the IRN that you will find in the GST Zen portal. And you will see the other details of the uh, e-invoice here. So this is how you can generate um, e-invoices in bulk through GST Zen's Excel method.